Are you having trouble finding a holster for your pistol and light? Works Holsters offer holster options for over 2,330 pistol and light combinations. Most violent encounters happen in partial or no light situations. It's critically important that you can identify and control a threat in the dark, parking lot, or your own home. But there are not many secure and reliable holsters for pistols with lights. The slave shooters need to make compromises on how and what they carry. Most holster companies don't focus on light bearing holsters. Generic, one size fits many holsters don't provide the proper retention, the right comfort, and don't locate well on the body. Works believes you can and should be ready to defend yourself day and night. This means safely and comfortably carrying your pistol and light. Check them out at works.com. These types of things happen. It gets frustrating, you tend to get upset. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault and I'm sorry. <sighs> hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Last week I made a video called When Things Just Don't Go Right. And my original intention was to take out the 80% ARMS GST9, put an optic on there, and do a revisit video. And I was looking forward to getting out to the range and shooting this gun because it's been a while. Now when I first got this gun, couple years ago it performed flawlessly I loved it but I figured hey I've got this hollow sun Fro 7c let's put this on there sight it in do some good work with it but the title remained true when things just don't go right I was experiencing issues with chambering extraction and ejection and they were pretty substantial. I tried two separate types of ammo, each of which never gave me a problem with any other handgun that I used, but for some reason the GST-9 was not working. And the only change I made in the past couple years was mounting and optic. And so I made the video and I wanted to get the feedback as to what the issue and could right possibly be. Now, issue. I've mounted many optics on handguns. Never once had a problem. Well, Didn't think anything of back. it. But then, but then, I made that video and I got a lot of suggestions from people. Some said that I had an extractor issue or an ejector issue. Other things needed to be looked at. The recoil spring needed to be lighter. But there was one comment specifically that was direct on with the issue. And that was from a man, Voyager. He stated... The right side of the optic screw, which is on the same side as the extractor, might be too long with the end of the screw entering the extractor depressor plunger, EDP channel, and pinching the EDP. If you take the back plate off of the slide, the EDP assemble should come right out and go back in relatively freely. If it doesn't, then the screw is too long. You can run the tip of the screw across the file to shorten it until it no longer blocks the EDP from going back into the slide. And I thought to myself that makes perfect sense because this is a direct optic mount. There are no mounting plates. And when I installed the optic on the handgun, I wrenched in both sides of the optic screws very tightly. And it had a little bit of a wobble to it. And so I took Voyager's advice and with the use of a file and an Allen wrench, I filed those screws down and I continued to file and fit and file and fit and file and fit until it felt like it had a nice grab of the optic, a nice hold, and yet not so much so that the screw was pushing down on the EDP. And once I did, I took it to the range and I experienced a whole different outcome with the GST-9. It was like night and day. And the optic was a little bit off. And to this time, I still have not Loctited it because I wanted to make sure that the GST-9 fed, fired, and ejected. And it did. It worked fine. So that was certainly the issue with my experience at the range. And that's why it's all my fault. I had no idea that a, an optic mount can affect the function of the pistol. And it did, and it did in a big way. So hats off to you, Voyager. You did a great job explaining that, as well as many other people. I tell you, I learn more from this channel than I do with any other 
type of forum or anything else. I get the best advice in the world and I learned something. So what is it that I learned? Well, most screws that come in the case with an optic are fairly long and many of which are longer because there is a optic plate that needs to be attached to the optic which is attached to the top strap of the slide and so it allows for that additional space with the length of the screws however if it's a direct mount the way this is where you don't have an optic plate you may have to file off the bottom of the screws so you're not wrenching down on that screw onto that edp and affect the function of the extractor and that's one thing I'm going to look at in the future. If you find yourself hammering down the screws, continually doing that, you may experience the same thing I did. So this is a learning experience for everybody out there. It, it could happen. It did happen to me. And once I fixed it, which was a pretty easy fix, I have to tell you, though, I was sweating a lot. Filing. I really filed down the bottoms of those screws so that... I didn't experience the same issue, and I saw a much better functioning pistol with the GST-9 and the Hollow Sun 407C. Now I need to sight this in. Well, I need to Loctite the screws, sight it in, and come back and do another revisit with the GST-9 because it is fixed. It's all my fault, and now I learned something, and hopefully... Through this video, you learned something too. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.